At DV Workshops, we provide dynamic two-day camera video boot camps, but we know that many of you can't make it. So we've created the 75-minute DVD with camera essential lectures just like you'd hear in the workshop. Here now are five minutes of samples featuring DV Workshop's lead instructor, Aaron Rainin. Rainin was selected to train the U.S. Navy combat camera teams at the Pacific Fleet Headquarters and has also spent three summers as Clint Eastwood's cameraman on selected jazz documentaries. Let's talk about how do you film a good interview, because I want to give you some tips on some shooting styles that will make you a better storyteller as a shooter. All right, so when you're framing someone, you should generally put the subject on the left or the right side of the frame. Try not to center folks. Uh, we'll talk more about the rule of thirds later in this video. Now, I want you to notice that one third of the frame is generally filled with your person and two thirds is filled with what we call the negative space. And this will have information about the locale, the occupation um, of who you're interviewing, the negative space. Now, the subject, when you're interviewing them, should always be facing the negative space. Their eyes, their glare of their eyes fills the negative space. You see here, when they're looking away from the negative space, it just doesn't look right. You can see here how good it looks when the person is looking in the correct direction. Again, the person should be looking towards the negative space, which means the producer or camera person who's doing the interview should be on the same side as that negative space. Keep the person framed as one third of the frame. And now we're gonna learn an exercise to help you understand creating depth in your shots. All right, I wanna talk about mics I like. Okay, what do I have in my toolkit as a one-person band? What am I using all the time? Well, first let's talk about uh, wireless systems. Uh, this is a wireless system and it's manufactured by Electrosonic. It's a great wireless package. Uh, I also like the Sennheiser wireless packages. They're in about a $500 range. I'm not a big fan of the, uh, the mic that comes with that Sennheiser. Uh, I would suggest ordering a Tram mic that fits the Sennheiser. It's still going to be affordable. Again, Tram, T-R-A-M. If you go to our website at DV Workshops, we have links to these things. But again, I like this Sennheiser microphone uh, wireless system. It's like $500, but I would suggest getting a Tram. You can also hide these lavaliers. Um, if you go to an audio uh, supply, professional audio like Location Sound in Los Angeles or B&H Photo, they sell these little kind of cylinder, thin gray foam. And this kind of, without the clip, this kind of snakes up inside this foam and then they tape it inside your shirt. So this is kind of suspended in this cocoon of little foam that's very small, so you're not gonna see too much of a bump. And literally, if you have a jacket on or something, they put the little uh, foam right inside there and then they just tape it in and you can't see it. Um, it's made of the same material as like uh, professional makeup sponges, those triangle stuff. So if you're looking to build your own kind of hidden mic, go to a beauty supply store and pick up uh, a little makeup sponge and just cut it really thin and then try to get this to just sit in the middle and you can hide it, okay? The key with using these lavaliers is you never let it sit. It's hard to see I'm wearing a black shirt, but you never let it sit on someone's shirt. You're gonna see the wire like you can there. You always wanna bring it up inside the shirt and then lock it in on top or on the side. And one of the keys is also, is, um, as I'm gonna show you in this close up, is you wanna loop this wire inside the back of it and it'll make it look more attractive on the shirt if you can see what I'm doing now. This is what I call my storytelling mic but important interviews I use this um, and maybe it's two people I don't mic myself if I'm not going to use my questions if I need more than two lavaliers one to each uh, generally I'm going to use a mixer or have a sound person because you have to actually it's an art with multiple mics you have to turn down ones with that people aren't talking and you've got to kind of have a professional mixer uh, working on that okay so we're talking about these little clip-on microphones and using the wirelesses, we're talking about this is electrosonic. I also like the Sennheiser. And if you're gonna purchase the Sennheiser, around $500, get a tram mic, it's worth the money. This is your storytelling mic.
So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna talk about using the brains of the camera to help you determine what's overexposed and underexposed. First, I wanna to cut to this image. And what you're looking at are lines over the most exposed part of the frame. These lines are called zebras. And in a moment, I'm gonna teach you how to set the zebras at the correct level. 